friends welcome to this video in this video we will be talking about a basic fundamental of derivative which is required for understanding the higher derivatives so whenever strike over nothing but we are talking about some kind of rate of change right some kind of rate of change means basically what Suppose if you have a function y is equal to f of x, then rate of change of it, that means you are trying to think about what will happen to y if you change the value of x by a small amount. And to denote this derivative or to denote this rate of change, we use the notation of dy by dx or y dash or f dash of x. They all three means the same, right? But when we say dy by dx, we are being more precise. That rate of change of y with respect to x. Right? So this is nothing but the fundamental definition of derivative. What we will be doing is, we will be recalling all the basic formulas and the result. First formula, first standard formula is the function, constant function. If the function is a constant, there is no change. Hence, the rate of change is 0. Hence, derivative is 0. What I request student is to note all these formulas. Right. Suppose if my function is x, then we have to think of the derivative. What we can think is, we can think of a derivative over here. This is my function, I want to think the derivative. What is the way to remember this formula is the thing, but if you want to find out the derivative, just take this power ahead, it becomes n x raised to reduce the power by 1, n minus 1. For an example, if my x to the power 3 is a function, the derivative is nothing but 3x square. If my function is x to the power minus 3, the derivative is going to be minus 3 x to the power minus 4. Similarly, can you tell me what is my derivative of x to the power minus 1 which is same as 1 by x? The derivative is nothing but minus 1 x to the power minus 2. This formula is not restricted to any integers. Suppose if I have x to the power 0 0.5, that is nothing but root x. And if I want to find out derivative of this, what I know is, I have to take this power ahead, so that becomes 0 0.5 and in the power 0 0.5 minus 1. This 0 0.5 is nothing but half x to the power minus half. So, what we understood is root x, the derivative is 1 by 2 root x. This is a standard formula, but we can apply this formula in different, different cases for the value of n. The value of n can be any real number. Okay. Further for the next formula, the next formula. For the function log, whenever your function is a log x, you have to take the derivative as 1 by x. We here always remember when nothing is written in the as a base of a log, it's always considered to be E, Euler's constant, which is also called as ln, natural logarithm x. So if you have log x to the base E, and if you want to take a derivative, the derivative is nothing but 1 by x, right? The derivative of 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square, and the derivative of log x to the base E is same as 1 by x. Please remember this, there should be no confusion between these two. Okay, let's go to the next for log for over here. Students should know some basic of logarithm where we can write this f of x as log x. We can just distribute this into two part log a both to the base e. Now, if you are taking the derivative. The derivative of this part is nothing but 1 by x. Hence, the answer is going to be 1 by x into log a, which is there in the denominator over here. 
right so remember whenever you have log x to the base 10 suppose and if you want to take a derivative of it the answer is going to be 1 divided by x log 10 if i am not writing anything i mean e over here right so this is the thing but formula for log x to the base student used for that i have seen that let me just give you we talk about log the inverse of log is nothing but exponent so let's see the formula of a raised to x so if the function is a raised to x the derivative of it is nothing but you write the same thing and take a log of it log a for an example suppose if my function is nothing but 10 to the power x the derivative of this is going to be 10 to the power x into log 10 to the base e Right, so the formula is a to the power x log a. A could be what? A could be any real constant. It could be any number. Right. Okay. Let's try to apply this here. F of x equal to e to the power x. I want to take the derivative. We just now learn if f of x is same as e to the power x. If I take derivative, I have to write e to the power x log e to the base e by the formula of log or the property of a log what we can see is nothing but log e to the base e this part is 1 so this becomes e to the power x only so remember e to the power x is such a function which has derivative itself okay we are just doing a recap of the formula I am not teaching how the formulas is coming because this video is meant for 12th standard student who has already seen derivative. This all formula student should know. Suppose if I give you trigonometric function. How many trigonometric function we have learned? We have learned 6 trigonometric functions, right? So it is nothing but suppose if I tell you sin x, cos x, then we have 10x, then cot x sec x and the last is nothing but cosec x these are the function and i want to talk about the derivative of this functions right the derivative of this function first of all remember sin and cos are related when we talk about derivative the derivative of sin is nothing but cos x the derivative of cos is nothing but sin x but remember, whenever a trigonometric function starts with C, the derivative is always negative. So, whatever is the answer for cot or cosec, whatever is the derivative, it's going to be negative. So, I just write minus sign. Right? So, first notice, whenever the function starts with C, the derivative is negative. Then what you should remember is nothing but your 10 and this sec are related so, if you want to think about derivative of 10, it is nothing but this function, but square of it. So, it is nothing but sec square x. Similarly, the only two left are nothing but cot and cos x. So, they are related. So, cot x derivative is nothing but minus, but minus of what? Cosec square x. As we said, 10 and sec are related. So, when we took the derivative of 10, the answer was nothing but 6 square x. But when we take derivative of sec x, the answer is not 10 square x. The answer is nothing but the product of this two function. So, that is nothing but 10 x sec x. If we talk about the last, I think you can guess this formula very quickly. That is nothing but cosec x and cot x. Those two are related. We just have to multiply. This is the way you can at least remember this formula, right? Okay, so these are nothing but the basic fundamental formula. Next, I want to discuss is nothing but right? If we know all this thing, then we will start with an application in the next class. Okay, so rules of differentiation, standard rule are what? Suppose if I have a constant number k multiplied with f of x. I want to take the derivative of it. What we know is derivative of a constant is 0. But whenever a constant is multiplied with a function, 
whenever the constant is multiplied with the function we have to keep the constant as it is and just take the derivative of that function nothing else for an example suppose if i just see suppose if i have a function uh, 2 into x to the power 3 the derivative would be what the derivative is 2 as it is the derivative of x cube is nothing but 3 x square right so the final answer is nothing but 6 x square is nothing but final answer so the constant term as it is take the derivative of the function whenever the constant is multiplied okay so this is nothing but a constant multiple rule the next thing that we talk is nothing but function are added for an example suppose if you have f of x plus g of x and you want to take a derivative of it what you are supposed to do is just take the derivative and then add them very simple so f dash of x plus g dash of x suppose on the place of plus if i have a minus sign over here then i'll do minus over here very simple what I request the student is, please solve some basic fundamental derivative before starting your class 12 derivative application of it. Right? Okay. Let's see the last two functions or the rules. Very important rules. Okay. So, suppose if I write my two functions as u and v. My two functions are u and v and they are nothing but multiplied. I want to think about derivative of it. So, derivative of uv, the formula is nothing but take the first function as it is. So, I will write first function as it is and the derivative of this. So, it is nothing but derivative of the first, second. Then, add the function with what? First, you took first function as it is. Now, time for the second. So, v as it is and the derivative of the first function. First as it is, derivative of second plus second as it is, derivative of first. That is called as a uv rule or the derivative of the product. u and v are nothing but functions. Okay. Let's come to the last rule for this video that is nothing but u by v. What is the way to remember? Whenever you say this kind of u by v, that means the function are divided and you want to take about derivative, then write the denominator but as a square. So it is nothing but v square. Then write the same thing again. So, v again. Take the derivative of numerator. That is nothing but u dash. In the product, in the product rule, we add. In division rule, we subtract. Then just interchange this. That is nothing but v dash u. Right. So, what is u by v rule? That is nothing but v u dash minus u dash v divided by v square. Sec denominator as it is, derivative of numerator minus derivative of the denominator, numerator as it is, divided by denominator square. Right? So, this is all about the basic fundamentals. I will this video till the end. See you in the next video in which I will be talking about what is called as a composition of the function, the basic fundamental of it and in the next two next video we will be talking about chain rule. So please stay tuned to this channel, subscribe to it, share it with your friend and like this video. Okay, thank you.